Hello friends, my name is Kyle, Real Revelations Everywhere. In this video, we are going to be talking about patience. Patience in as many different forms as I can put my finger on. Patience with me, patience with your teammates, patience with yourself, patience with the abilities that you use in game, patience with your timing, patience with your enemy. It all adds up, like I've already said. Patience is, to me, a representation of so many extremely important things coming together a deeper understanding of what you're dealing with, a greater appreciation for what you're doing, a deeper, kinder appreciation for the people that you're doing it with, friend or foe. Patience is... invaluable is... on the short side. Patience is necessary and i can personally speak to the fact that if in so many ways if i was a moment less patient with myself and the situations that i've been in in the past i could honestly see there being a version of all of this where i'm just not here patience is the reason that i'm still around can be completely honest with you. Patience to me, the first thing that it means to me is how I learned it was just sitting in DC traffic back when I worked construction, when I did audiovisual construction, integration, and service. I worked my way up the ladder, but one of the things that was always constant was uh, just what it took to get around, to deal with the people that I dealt with and all the different ways that I had to deal with them. I used to sit in traffic for like literally hours four or five hours a day, literally. Especially when I became an engineer and I lost the ability to use HOV because I was by myself a lot of the time. Just sitting there, doing absolutely nothing in some of the worst traffic on the planet. And just knowing that it's never not going to be there is, is beyond frustrating. It just breaks people down it just melts them like acid just the amount of stress that it causes what the everyone around you ends up representing in one way or another people the people in cars just become taillights screaming at you to tell you to stop constantly just a sea of everyone telling you to stop that you're not allowed to go you're not allowed to proceed all of these things that are just being blasted into your eyes it's almost exclusively negative luckily for me i was able to understand it in a different way and i was able to i would like to think make the most of the time that i spent in that traffic but still time spent sitting in traffic Without patience, that is just raw misery for most people. Without patience, you lose perspective and an understanding of what is actually occurring and who you're dealing with. And to me, what it became was the deep understanding of it's the similar concept of measure twice cut once 
do it right the first time. You got to make sure that you're doing what you can to do it right the first time. That's the first thing that patience represents to me as someone that was forced to become as patient as possible. I was decently, naturally pretty patient, almost to a fault that led towards procrastination, and we'll get towards that too, but I'll be the first one to admit I'm a pretty naturally patient person, but that stuff will take anyone to their edge in many different ways. And one of the biggest things that I took away from it was the fastest that you are ever going to get somewhere is safely. You have to guarantee that you are going to get there in one way or the other. Without patience, that's not going to happen. You're going to overextend in one way or the other. And you are going to compromise yourself for no reason. You have to get there safely. The fastest you're ever going to get there is safely. All the time people spend weaving in and out of lanes and getting around everyone else that's going too slowly and all of this stuff. They're just slamming every space that they can get into you're not actually ever gaining as much time as you think either. That's the other part of it. Not being patient is not only extremely detrimental in the first best way to expose yourself to all of the bullshit that is already coming after you, but that overextension also gets you literally next to nothing. Like if you actually count how much time you saved by doing all of that extracurricular bullshit that is extremely dangerous for you and everyone else, you're going to find out that not only most of the time is it just a matter of literally a few seconds, because that's, by the way, that's also how traffic dynamics are designed. They aren't designed to get you, you specifically, to your destination as fast as possible. They make it possible for everyone to get where they are going safely. That's the fucking point. The point is to package you up into bite-sized pieces that the traffic infrastructure can handle. If you are fucking that up and flying past, cutting through red lights, doing all this extra shit, you are not only slowing yourself down, you are slowing yourself down. By the way, don't, there's no, you can't deny it. Go ahead and do a whole scientific thesis. You're going to find out you have been fucking up. I dare you to go analyze it scientifically. Go hit that fucking stopwatch. Bring a stopwatch with you. Pay attention to how much time you think you're saving. It's non-existent. You are only making everything extremely dangerous for no reason. For you and everyone around you, including the people that you're supposed to be caring about the most in the car, probably with you, guess what? Actively endangering them. Fuck off with that shit. It's so fucked up, and it's so close-minded and just honestly fucking stupid, I can't fucking stand it. It's literally the reason I don't own a car and haven't owned a car for years. Because I refuse to interact with people that have obviously zero respect for themselves or anyone else, including the people that they're supposed to care about the most. You know how fucking awful it is to see the little baby on board, little sticker on the back of a car and see them driving the way that I have seen many times over. It's fucking pathetic and disgusting. It's absolutely disturbing. And it just, there's no way you can tell me that's a patient person. That's, it's impossible. It is the absolute antithesis of patience and it's extremely destructive for no reason can't tell i feel very strongly about this you have to do it safely the do it right the first time guess what you get into an accident now you're never fucking showing up now not only did you compromise everything that you care about and the way that you get around just for a uh, few seconds maybe that's a few seconds on the the most positive outcome but the negative outcome is so 
fucking steep. It never makes sense to act that way. You can't tell me that that is a, per a patient, caring, kind, understanding person behind the wheel. It's, you cannot, that's just absolutely untrue in every single way. I don't care who that person is. I don't care what you think of that person. I don't care what you think of yourself. If you are doing that shit, it is fucked up. And if you are a kind, caring, loving individual, and you're also doing that, that's twice as fucked up. It is unacceptable. Patience is required. It shows you who you really are. A lack of patience is who you are. There's no mistaking it. You show it to anyone else with a outside perspective that has nothing to do with the situation they are never going to tell you that you did a good job and that you were as patient as you could have been you can't and once you realize that you realize how impatient you have been with every other aspect of your life if that's how you handle some of the most important things that you do throughout the day getting around and doing it safely that's how you handle that level of importance. How patient could you possibly be in any other area of your life? You're really giving everyone around you the most best opportunities possible. No, 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 no. Especially not when you're endangering them constantly. Reevaluate everything. Patience is required. And patience is something that other people don't mistake either. They hear it. They see it in everything that you do. If you're impatient with all of the people that you care about in the most dangerous ways, how do you think they feel about how you feel about them when they never feel like they can make a mistake around you? Like they can't come to you for understanding and guidance. That they can't come to you for any type of patient response that shows them that you care about them that's how you care you give them time to grow and you help them and you show them that where they are right now is acceptable they are them they're being themselves and they're doing it for the right reason you have no reason to be impatient with them there's more there than just your misunderstanding of the situation and the timing of it all like there no one is confused about whether or not you care when you're just short with everyone when there's no runway to discuss anything when there's no leeway to approach a difficult situation and feel like they're gonna come out better for it with you that is unacceptable you are doing such a poor job at that point if people don't feel like they are gonna have a chance to have a real conversation with you no fucking way that is so unacceptable and it's it's one of the biggest things that i like to think about one of the key metaphors that i've created for this situation we're all working with the same thing. We're all coming from a place of misunderstanding to understanding with a deeper perspective influenced by experience. Everybody's dealing with their own experiences, but we're all coming from the same place. We don't choose what family we were born into. We don't choose a lot of things about our conception. But we're all starting from zero. Unfortunately, zero can turn directly towards the negatives in a lot of situations. But a lot of people make the most out of those situations. And a lot of people head straight into the positive and they keep going up. Both of those situations require patience. No matter who you are or where you're coming from, patience is eventually deeply ingrained in everything that you do, the way that you understand things. If you understand it, 
successfully in a way that helps you survive or otherwise, it is going to be a form of understanding that has led you in a positive direction. If it doesn't work, it's not going to work. But as you begin to understand and grow in situations, the patience will always increase for those situations. You're going to understand the timing differently. A lot of people, there's... That's what I think of when I think of we're all coming from the same place. So elementally, the building blocks of everything that we are composed of, that we deal with, one of them is carbon. We're all coming from the same place. We're all made of the same stuff. But as a lot of people know, carbon has a lot of different forms and shapes that it can take. It is an essential building block of many different versions of many different things. A lot of people think that diamond comes from coal, but it does not. Coal is its own separate state, but its basis is formed in carbon, just like diamonds. So now we have carbon that has formed itself into two different states. Both of them required a lot of time. Both of them require a lot of different variables and circumstances. But they take a lot of time and a lot of patience to form what they currently do. Are you going to form with your time and your experience and your patience something that is primarily responsible for pollution? Do you pollute everything around you? Or are you a fucking goddamn diamond? Is the time and pressure and the heat formed you into something extremely valuable and beautiful to look at? Stunning to witness? Or are you fucking smogging up everyone's air? Creating a bunch of shit that other people have to breathe in and deal with? It's taken time to form both of them. But the effects of both you can't mistake them for one another one has taken the time and patience the pressure and the heat to form something extremely valuable and the other one is just awful to be around to breathe in the shit to deal with the fucking garbage that sticks to everything it's disgusting which way are you going to decide to go? How are you applying the patience that has been forced upon you and the patience that you develop? Which way? Anything less than stunning jewelry is... I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to breathe that in. I have no use for that. You can keep your fucking lump of coal, throw them back in your stocking, and... Get that shit the fuck out of here. I, the metaphor is over. I'm done with that. If you do not intend to use that pressure and that heat to become a diamond, what are you even going for? You're really just wasting your time? And when I say that, it's not for anyone else to decide. It is your choice. Other people don't get to tell you who you are. Other people don't get to decide for you which way you're going to go. You have to feel it. You have to make it your choice. Anything outside of that is unacceptable. And then once you realize, oh, holy shit, you know, I haven't been very patient for, you know, pretty much my entire fucking life. So now, how do we go about regaining that patience? 